Hey everybody, it's Brandon. It is time for me to clean my 55 gallon tank today. So I'm gonna do so. I'm gonna pull Gamera out and have him bask. I'm gonna put um, a treatment on his shell because it's still cracked and still kind of looks bad. So try to get that bacteria killed between his uh, the little gaps on his shell. So that would be good. Where you going, buddy? Whoop. Um, had a couple comments of people asking how I built this um, structure underneath to hold, to hold up my viquarium. This is uh, one half inch PVC and I have it here in an H pattern. See, see the H under here? So I have oh, what are these? One, two, like three inch risers, an elbow and then this whole thing to here is 12 inches and I believe that's an extra two inches there. So this whole thing is 14 inches long and this tank is 12 inches wide. So let's go over here. So, goes corner to corner. Then in the middle there I have uh, braces or one brace basically to hold the whole structure in place. And that is enough to hold up everything on top of there. Putting the weight on the very sides, really, really close to the glass. And it really isn't too terribly much and it works pretty good. I have my heater down here and a little blower motor that is on a timer four times a day, it turns on and blows all the poop and waste and everything out from inside of here. I'm gonna replace that today probably with a different power head, one that's a little bit quieter. This one just needs to be rebuilt. And that's actually the original pump that was inside of the Viquarium when I bought it. So this whole thing up here had a pump inside of it that um, sucked water from the rock side and pushed it upwards. So that whole thing basically was its own filter. It brought water in from the tank side through this. This had two filters uh, inside of it, charcoal kind of bag filters. Sucked water through that and then used all this rock media as a filter as well and then brought the water up and out. But it's kind of inefficient for turtles it didn't really keep up so i've been using my bigger filter and just pumping the outflow of the water up through the top of this viquarium i did modify it let me show you here because i have to take all this apart anyway to clean it do 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 do, -do. open that up So I cut a notch out of the top of the lid of the Viquarium. I think it's about a one inch notch that I did with my Dremel. So I'll set that aside. So this is the outflow of the Fluval G3. It has quite a bit of flow right now. I cleaned it yesterday so it's Oh, hi, kitten. Cleaned it yesterday, so the flow is really high. And I pulled out my floss media, or my um, filter floss, or polishing pad that was up in here. Um, basically, I used the top of this whole thing as a secondary, as a secondary filter. Kitten almost fell in, that was fun. But I take a polishing pad and I tuck it in here so it filters the water coming out of here and filters the water going into the back hole as well. It's a little bit dark right there. Maybe I can move this light around a bit so you can see it. So this will catch everything that the main filter sends back into the tank. But it is pretty in here. Huh, kitten? Don't get in there. Hey, hey, hey. You don't wanna be in there. 
a turtle will bite you. And this is this is our little Yubi. Oh, she was little. Now she's a full-grown cat. Hi, little girl. Hi, little girl. So yeah, that's how I have my 55. I'm gonna clean it pretty much right now. And you got a bonus of a little cat. Hi, bonus cat. You're so pretty. You have so much hair in your ears. Hey. Silly girl.